Hi, so for those of you who don't know, this is Webster Center. It's Babson's old gym. This is where there's the volleyball court. It used to be our gym. Right beside it, there is a swimming pool. There's a track in the second floor that everybody can use. And I believe there's still a weight room where some athletes do exercises. And adjacent to it is the new gym. You can walk across them through the inside or go outside. I'll post another video once I head into the new gym for you guys to see the two, two floors of equipment, the spinning room and everything. But just for you guys have an idea, this is the old gym called Webster. Interested in the athletics part of Babson, we are D3, so it's not as competitive as D1 schools. And as you can see, this is the soccer field. There's another field where people also play soccer and it's field hockey as well. And here's just an open area where people play frisbee. There's a couple of people hanging around playing baseball and over here is the baseball field as well and behind those bleachers there is a beach volleyball um, court and anyone literally can just come in and play at any time this is Reynolds where you have places to eat the campus bookstore mail room and beside there is Sorensen where there is the auditorium if you continue straight in this road, you're going to get to the library and the main road. If you go up this road, you get to other two upperclassmen housing, which is Van Winkle, which I lived in my sophomore year, and Coleman. And here to the right, you can also get to the soccer fields. And this street is where I'm headed to right now. This building is Pete's Hall. You only find suites here, which is where I currently leave, live. All right. I live on the second floor and basically in this road you're gonna find the towers so the sorority towers the special housing towers like one and give which i've mentioned in another video and fun fact this street more up ahead in between the towers sorority frats and the suites we call it stoop on weekends which is where everybody comes to party so literally just everybody playing loud music, everybody has their own drinks, and they, everybody just hang out, hangs around here. And public safety, so the police around campus, they stay close by with a lot of pizza um, in case someone <laughs> does not become well. Let's just put it that way. And yes, so this is one of the points around campus if you guys want to party um so other than stoop so it's literally in the middle of the road a lot of people go to parties at the frats and the towers one is known for having one of the best parties on campus and the suites also always do parties so yes i'm headed now back to my suite and entering pete's hall this is parkman or west it's the newest residential building on campus it has three floors Right behind it is the Park Manor Quad. I lived here my first year in the third floor. It's very nice. They now open a little market, so it's a lot of fancy vending machines. And let me show you inside. So as you can see, this is the inside. We have a mini amphitheater, there's also a classroom downstairs, and this is a um, innovation center. And up ahead, it's where you enter the resident halls and the, the rooms. And all of these signs are because of COVID times, as you may imagine. And then the library is right ahead. It's very well centered around campus. This is Olin Hall, the graduate school at Babson. But don't be mistaken, many graduate students also have classes here. For instance, I have two classes this semester here at Olin, and I've had previous classes. 
Not only are there classrooms here, there is the Wynn Auditorium where some conferences take place. And there's a place for you to eat. There's vending machines, a um, place for you to get coffee. So this is very a very interesting and cool building. And it's known for having a lot of Brazilian graduate students. This is the main road called Babson College Drive. And I'm gonna show you the buildings you can see from here. So over there, it's Olin Hall, the graduate school. Further up the street, you will go, you'll get to the gym. There's Night Auditorium. And over here, it's Luxit Hall, which has some classrooms. There has a really cool women's center as well. In the back of this building is Tommaso Hall, which is the famous building with the tower and Babson's name on it that many of you will see online. This over here is Park Manor West, which is where I lived my first year. It's the newest building on campus. It's a residential building. And the glass area is the FME Innovation Center. We can talk more about FME in another video. And over here then is the other Park Manor um, residential building. So over there is Park Manor South. And there's the quad in between those buildings. Up ahead is Reynolds where you can have something to eat. There's the mail room which is where I'm headed to right now. And there's the campus store. And right here is literally the newest building on campus. It's the Babson Commons. It's an area where people just hang around and it's connected to the library which is over behind over here. We have a Starbucks and it's basically, I think it's my favorite spot on campus. It's beautiful. And over here we have Babson Hall that's also filled with um, professors' offices and classrooms. So just a 360 view of where I am right now on campus.